Now the DJM 700, a lot of people think it's discontinued the DJM 600. DJM 600 is still trucking along. Um, they are very different mixes. Um, it is the, the little brother to the DJM 800. I'm sure everyone's heard of the DJM 800. Um, without saying anything bad about the DJM, DJM 800, I find the DJM 700 is probably the best value for money for a channel mixer on the market. It is four channels with a shitload of effects, similar to the DJM 800, um, and it has MIDI as well. Um, if I'm moving too fast and talking about MIDI and no one, are, no one knows what MIDI is, please just speak up and I'll explain what MIDI does. Uh, firstly, we want to talk about the effects that the no, DJM... Maybe, maybe you should just do a quick little minute on MIDI. Yeah, on MIDI? Well, okay. What MIDI is, is you can assign, if you look up at the screen there, channel one, I've got that controlled through the mixer. So I can use a program like Ableton Live, pick a track, as you can see down the bottom there in the EQs, changing the low frequency, so that is controlling my EQs. So I can put in the track here like this. That's my second track. I can pretty much control anything from Ableton Live as far as all the effects down on the left hand side there. They're all the effects and modules that come and instruments that come with Ableton. So you don't have to go buy those instruments. We can use little things like um, our filter delay in here. The way the filter delay works is like this. And to map MIDI is probably the most easiest thing I've ever seen. Press MIDI at the top right. You can see that. Changes the color. Press the button that you want to control. In this case, I'm using the power onto the filter, and I'll press that button there. As you can see, it highlights with a number. We'll take that out. We've turned it off. Now the track playing. Press this one here. Now it's a delay. So while you're playing the two tracks, you can have two tracks going in there and do some crazy, crazy effects. Um, you can sync 49 points of MIDI on this mixer. The DJM 800 has 61, so you're missing out on about 12 there, but if you're going to use 49 keys of MIDI, you're doing, you're doing pretty well. Um, so we'll just piss this fellow off. Okay. We'll do a little bit more MIDI afterwards. I'll just show you the effects of the DJM 700. So, go back in here, press CD. Now, it has a couple of effects that the DJM 800 doesn't have, which is a roll up and a roll down. And what that does, uh, the roll itself takes a sample, so we'll do just a simple sample. Okay, so what the roll is doing, I'm going to set it to 2 to 1. That part we can cut that down into smaller increments, so we'll go just trying to get going that part, we we'll go into half, we'll go into quarters, then you've got the roll reverse, so if you're using turntables for example, you can have the, the record play in reverse via the mixer. You've got roll up, and what the roll up does works exactly the same way as roll generally, but it pitches the track up and roll down pitches the track down. The way that works is like this. Pitching it up, roll down, pitches it down. You make it sound like the record's turning off. Just like that. Now, with any of those roll effects, you can actually assign that to a different channel. So what I'm going to do is take a roll effect, we'll do it to uh, a half parameter so it's going to kick really really quickly and then swap it over to a different channel and that will always stay using that effect. So let's go this. Select it on channel 2, switch it over to channel 4. Now every time I put the fader on, doing that. The cool thing about that is you can use that to do different types of effects. You can change that into a half increment. 
600 plus a few more so we've got the normal delay this is delay and you've got your echo you can bring that in and out so if you're playing electro for example you can use it as like a robotic effect Transformer, transformer cuts it up just like you're using the transformer, so you can change it. It's just cutting away, so you can. You've got your filter, which is a blow pass filter. Cuts it all the way down, back up. You can change the trans, you can that. Flange, everyone's heard of Pioneer Flange in the nightclub. Be bastardized to the max. Flange, change the parameters yet again. It works very, very similar to the way the jet works. Then you've got your phaser. The phaser works like a flange and a filter put together. And changing the increments of it sounds really, really cool. high pass and low pass filters. If you ever used um, the DJM 800, they had the colour filters all at the top here with the DJM 700. It's one colour filter which controls pretty much everything. You can still select which channel you want to do it on, but the cool thing about having the filter going over the master is you can control the filter on top of another effect. So I'll show you that just the high pass and the low pass filter. High pass, low pass, and a lot of you use is reverb with that there and the filter. Down the scale, 